I'm a little directional challenged. <laughs> I know. If I didn't have my GPS, I would have been the same way. Sorry. Okay. So we're going to have you stand right there. Okay. Because Caleb is on Skype. But you have to hold this while you talk to him. Because oh, we turned the sound him. down. Wonderful. Hello. Okay. So we just decided on a project. Wonderful. Uh, Latrine. Hi, Kenneth. This is Kenneth. Hello. I love your future wife. Anyway, Latrine and goats. So we're looking at about $3,300 to raise. Okay. Um, we need to come up with a good fundraising project and a date. Um, so give us your best. Okay. First of all, can I, can I get to know everyone real fast? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Just I know. Sorry. Really quick. Just where... How about grade level? Is that okay? Sure. Who went around as a grade level? Okay. okay. Start anywhere. Start at Cameron, our president. What are we saying? You're you great. 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 Yeah. Okay, I'm Cameron. I am a freshman in college. Freshman in college? Okay, wonderful. What are, where do you go to school? Well, I was going to Salt Lake Community College, but I am just taking a break right now. Okay, wonderful. Oh, Michael. Oh, I'm in eighth grade. Eighth grade? My name is Michael Sconner, and I go to Fairfield Junior. Nice to meet you, wonderful. I'm Michelle Sconner, sister, and I'm in tenth grade. DSA? Davis, Davis High. High. Mm -hmm. Davis High. Okay, sorry. No, it's not up to date with these ones. I'm Natalie Hansen. I'm a junior and I go to Davis. Okay, wonderful. Um, I'm Aubrey Ann Bokeman and I go to Davis Hansen. Okay, so same school. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. I'm Ted Kwasi Murray and I'm in ninth grade. I go to Spanish Fort Junior High. Spanish Fort Junior High, okay. Do you have a line with do you want me? Yeah, what grade are you in? You can just come down this row. <laughs> I'm Monica Woodland, and I've been through all the grades. <laughs> Wonderful. Glad to have an expert in that field. I'm Jacob Woodland, and I'm in ninth grade. What school? St. Daniel Junior High School. I'm Chase, and I'm a junior at Davis High. Wonderful. Okay, so we've got three from Davis. Is that right? Wonderful. That's great. I'm Jamie. I'm at Salt Lake Community College. Okay. Yeah, We're all good? Okay. Oh, Caleb. Zach. Zach. Oh, Zach. Yeah. I'm Zach. I'm 17. I go to Murray High. I'm a senior. Oh, exciting. And Caleb? Caleb. Can you hear me, Caleb? Yeah. I'm, I'm a senior at Mountain View. Oh, well, nice <coughs> to meet you. Where's Mountain View? Or? Oh, you're up above me. That's nice. Okay. Well, first of all, to kind of just go over um, the way we want to do this, because we are pretty divided with people being down in the valley more so, we've got some Spanish Fork and then Orem, and then those in the north, would you like to do a combined effort in one of those central locations, or are you thinking in your schools individually? Because it's neat, with having so many different schools here, it would be really nice to be able to have maybe a project in your own area to get the word out that way. And then you could do something as a group as well, with like a restaurant. But I want to hear, first of all, your ideas as working together. Do you have any ideas as far as what you would prefer to do? Are you neutral? Can we do both? See, that's what I'm thinking would be nice. I think so. The more the more. Okay. Yeah. So first of all, have, did you go over the list last meeting of like the fundraising ideas and opportunities? Yes. What have you been doing on your own to get going? Anyone? Zach. Zach? Um, what I did first was just wrote a letter to like everybody that my parents knew, like and then just said like what I was doing and just asked for donations or fundraising ideas and I don't know, we made some money. Made some? Yeah. Better than that then, right? Yeah, well it's still coming in, so that's great. Okay, so here's kind of the things. I was talking to a friend about this, my friend Jamie, um, another Jamie, you met last time. Um, and we were talking about maybe focusing on our communities, not just our schools, but the whole entire community at large. Because we do have parents that know businesses, they know business owners, and hopefully you have friends whose parents are involved in the community in a way like that. What we were thinking is maybe presenting an idea of 
a business, a pizza place that might be spread throughout the valley. So we could have mm. one up in Salt Lake, one down in Orem, um, even if somebody down in St. George or wherever else anyone wanted to do it could get this pizza place to say, okay, one of your other chains or another um, branch of it is holding a night where we encourage people to come in, we hand out flyers to all of our friends, everyone we know at church, and we will try to get as many people there. And we have karaoke night, maybe a restaurant that already has karaoke or something like that. And then we give that we get them to give us a percentage of those proceeds. I mean, what that would require from you is to go into those places looking professional and pretty much saying, here's who we are, here's who we represent, and here's what we want to accomplish. With your help, we can get this done. Here's all we're asking for from you, and here's what we'll do to help your business. How does that sound as an idea as far as something in the community business-wise? Is that doable? Yeah. Yeah? Could you think of some pizza places over by Davis High School that, or like restaurants or places where people like to go? Um, I, like one of the really, really popular restaurants at Davis is, um, what's up to you? I don't know, I just lost it. The Mandarin? Yeah, like yeah. everyone goes to the Mandarin. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if that would be something that we could out with or not, but I know that's really popular. I think that's the most popular restaurant. See, then I would recommend putting together a letter just explaining who you are and going in because I remember in my own high school there was just a little shop. I mean, it wasn't a chain, it wasn't a corporation. It was just this man that owned it. And we walked in and talked to him and we said, Here's what we want to do. And he's like, Oh, yeah, my children want to do things like that when they were younger. And so he understood. And so try to get that appointment and maybe yeah. meet together as a team and say, Okay, when do we want to go in there? How are we going to write this up? Who's going to say what? What are we going to wear? Look professional and make that kind of a plan. And then we could have one designated night where we try to get all of these restaurants to do it on the same night. So I mean, it can be a different that restaurant. I know down, down in Orem, we're trying to talk to a restaurant called Gurus that's privately owned down there. But it's really fun and kind of eclectic. And they have karaoke nights where bands play. And so we could even get one of our friends to play. So think of that in a different way. Maybe if somebody you know is musically talented, they could play at the restaurant that night and they could donate their tips to it as well, or something like that. How does that sound? That'd be awesome. So we could have like the, the Davis County contingent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you, I can just see it. All you guys go in together, yeah. mm -hmm. dress really nice. We'll have a nice little letter, exactly. little coins, pictures. And so I can help you come up with the yeah. promotional materials or a folder we, to hand to them. We have a connection. We could do it with Minchie's, because we could mm -hmm. do that. Um, People in our ward own mm -hmm. the Menchies and Leighton. It's a roasted oh. yogurt place. Oh, that would be wonderful. And like she's our young one president and stuff, and like I'm sure she would. Oh, that's even better. Or something else. She's oh, if you ready, ready to have it. And they do stuff like that. They have people come in and sing yeah. and like yeah. play guitar mm -hmm. once in a while. So yeah. So that would be like probably pretty easy to do. So that's what you want to do. I think start with places that you know, and then move from there. And so. I mean, Davis County, you're not too far from there as well. If you want to jump on board with that one, or if there's another restaurant you know of, where maybe a lot of the kids that go to Slick hang out. Um, right. Yeah, we could do a Slick. We could do a Slick one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think that would be nice because Slick has a good environment as well, mm. especially with, like just college teens. There's a lot of things going on, and but I do like the idea of making it maybe a noisy house. We have to turn the sound off. I also. I don't know if I can mute it. <laughs> I like the idea also of making it an open mic because if you have a connection there and you say, let's make it more than just people that come in because you want people to have a draw to go there. So talk to people maybe in your ward or maybe your parents or somebody's friend or somebody that is likes to perform and willing to donate their afternoon or their evening to that. And then we could set maybe one night. So does that sound good as far as maybe like individual but still together for right now? Okay, so when do we want to have this night by? Like the date for the... Mm -hmm. Like, kind of like a deadline as to even... Well, I can know by the next meeting. Like, we could have it figured out by the next meeting, probably. I think that's a perfect goal. Then how about we by the talk next meeting? Everyone has talked to at least a couple businesses, a couple of corporations to say, okay, can we do this? Is this something your restaurant would be interested in? Do you have any thoughts on that in the Salt Lake area? Okay, so I work for a small business owner. Mm -hmm. Um... She owns a salon right downtown, oh, and like mm -hmm. I do reception and whatnot uh -huh. over there. Um, a week or two ago, we did like a fundraising night for um, the Huntsman's Cancer Institute. So we just did like from 5:30 until 12, which was like seven. Um,